saying aside of Dr. King, uh, a, a story that's still vivid with me. We were at the A.G. Gaston Motel, and uh, by then all the newspapers uh, in the country were covering the movement, and he had a major speech from the balcony. We were both staying on the second floor, and the courtyard down there was just full of reporters and media, and I was in his room, and he had uh, he's in a, one of those T-shirts like Marlon Brando had in uh, well, when the he wife beater. the wife beater, no, but the, that kind of T-shirt rather than the one I have now, the old uh, old style T-shirts. Uh, and it was hot, and he was sweating, and I, I still remember this. And he was sitting there, and Andy Young came in and said, "Okay, uh, uh, Mike," they, he called him. Uh, it's time to go out and make your speech. And I saw, and I never viewed him after that in the same way. Uh, here's a man dead tired, and he went in the bathroom and threw some cold water on his face, uh, wiped it off, and put on a shirt, and just grew as he got ready to walk out and, and became the king that we all see. And somehow that is one of the most memorable things, how he could rise to the occasion and add something to himself uh, when he went out uh, into public. I, I don't know. I was talking about that recently to some friends, and maybe that's why I remember that uh, so vivid. But, but there, were, there were very many things. Most of them have to do with acts of uh, bravery that I saw.